In this panel, we are going to see the reasons for the uh, survival of the small farms or the advantages of small scale production. Uh, despite the benefits of uh, growing in size, some farms like to uh, remain in small. Why it is like that? We are going to see here in this topic. So, the first reason is uh, size of the market. Size of the market means uh, sometimes the individually designed products or sometimes some luxurious and expensive products, the demand will be less. In such cases, those firms will remain in small because their demand for the product is very less. Uh, maybe the reason is some uh, highly expensive and luxurious products. Such products, such firms will remain in small. Sometimes we can see the example sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, luxury yachts. Those kind of things could have uh, highly expensive and then uh, demand will be less. So such firms will remain in small. Next one is uh, preference of the consumers. Consumers preference. Sometimes uh, consumers will prefer, uh, prefer to have some personal services of some products like uh, personal uh, hair dressing, uh, then uh, we can say a personal beauty parlor, personal doctor. Such uh, farms will remain in small because consumers will uh, like to have some personal services. Preference of the consumer is a reason for next one. Next one is uh, owner's preference. Owner's preference means uh, sometimes the uh, owners uh, may not like the farms to grow big in size. Maybe uh, they don't want to take the stress of a large farm. The farm is growing uh, too big in size. Large farms will come. It's all difficulties. The owners will have so many stress. The business uh, stress will be there. They may want to avoid those business stress. And sometimes the owners may be worried about they may lose the control if the farm is growing in growing big in size because um, if a farm is becoming a um, what we get the joint stock company the real owner may lose its control from the farm so such a case in such a situation the owners may not want the farms to grow big in size they want to remain uh, remain uh, small next one is the uh, flexibility. Flexibility means uh, the small farms are uh, very um, capable or the uh, small farms can uh, easily adapt into the changes in the market. If the farm depends on the increase or decrease in demand for the products, fashion, uh, taste, according to those kind of uh, changes in the market, the small farms can easily adapt. So such a flexibility is there for the small farms, but large farms it will not have that much easily they cannot adapt into the market. That's a market changes. That's the next reason the farms are remaining small. Next we are going to see the technical factors. Technical factors means sir, uh, sometimes uh, the small uh, farms may require very less capital. So such a reason they will remain in small. Next one is sir, uh, if there is a, uh, what we can say, less barriers to entry into the market. More small farms will um, come and um, set up in the business in the market. So in such a situation, uh, farms will remain small. Next one is uh, location. That means the geographical reason. Geographical reason means uh, if it is small, geographically small area, a large uh, farm is not required. For such a reason, farms will remain in small because of geographical reason or location. Next one, we can see the cooperation among the small farms. That means uh, if it is a small farm, they will have the benefits like uh, bringing the raw materials jo uh, together. Uh, two or more many farms together can bring the raw materials. Sometimes the uh, finished products, they can take into the market uh, together. Small farms together, they can carry the finished products in the market. Uh, these advantages, see the farm is uh, in small, they can uh, attain. Next we can say, but you know, um, small farm, the small farmers, Small farmers sometimes uh, they can bring the seeds uh, and uh, uh, together and harvesting machines. These are small farmers join together and they can make use of the harvesting machine. Such a reason the uh, small uh, farms will sm remain in small. Next reason is uh, a specialization. Sometimes uh, we can say the small small uh, farms can provide specialized services uh, to the large farms like. Uh, uh, what you can say, uh, training. 
specialized training to the employees, accountants, uh, chef. Such a training facilities a small firms can give, uh, so they will remain in small. Next reason is uh, uh, government support. That's uh, one of the most important reasons the firms are remaining small. The government support. Mostly the government and governments will have special uh, supporting packages will be only for the small firms, like uh, uh, tax reduction, subsidies and other financial benefits the government will provide the only to the small firms in such uh, for uh, such a reasons the small firms will remain in small to get those kind of uh, uh, support from the uh, government and why the government is giving such a support is uh, once one reason they are small the government uh, expecting they may uh, grow next one is these small firms will provide a lot of uh, job opportunities to the people for such reason government will provide some support to the small firms uh, to get those benefits, the farms will remain in small. So these are the reasons for the um, survival of the small farms. From the beginning, you will see first. Um, first reason is uh, the size of the market. Next is uh, preference of the consumer. Next reason is um, honest preference. Uh, next, uh, flexibility, technical factors, location of the farm and cooperation between small farms specialization and the government assistance these are the reason for the uh, survival or uh, some firms remaining uh, small in size